Okay, so I figure it's about time for a quick update on my Multiplex Colaris uh, glider. I've taken this thing out two or three times and flown it, and it flies really well. It does tend to tip stall at slower speed, so you really got to be careful with that. Uh, but it's a, it's a big plane, and it's a little bit intimidating at first. The last video I did, I, was like, I guess about 95% complete. And uh, so now I'm ready to go out FPV flying with it this weekend. Some of the things I had to do is I really had to replace this nose cone. I bought an aluminum one, I think I uh, mentioned in my last video, that was really, really out of balance. Didn't work well at all, so I had to buy, buy the multiplex uh, nose cone plastic, but it works well. The other thing is I bought a cheap set of um, folding props for it that were really noisy, not very efficient at all. So I went back and got a decent set of carbon fiber, 12 by six and a half, that are so much nicer. They're so much more quiet. They're so much more efficient. About half throttle cruising, I'm using about, I guess about eight amps. And full throttle, I get about, tw about 25 or 30 amps. So uh, I think that's gonna be that's going to be uh, some good props. I haven't flown with them yet. I'm hoping to get out this weekend and get some flying. I really haven't had a chance to fly lately. The weather's been terrible. It's been extremely windy. And I got involved in another little project. Uh, actually, this project right here. And that's kind of been taking up a little bit of my time. But I've got this set up for FPV now. I've got my Horizon HD version 3 camera in here, which seems to work well for FPV. I really like that camera. I've got a pretty temporary job of mounting my Lawmate 800 milliwatt transmitter and the only reason that it's not permanently mounted, that it's uh, temporarily mounted with tape and velcro and all that good stuff, is because right now I gotta swap that back and forth between my Calaris and my... what's that other big plane that I, that I fly? Uh, my Skywalker. Yeah, that's it. Uh, inside the canopy is pretty darn cramped, and I'll just go ahead and show you that right now. If I can get that off. Okay, so, so let's see. Basically what we have is a big nasty mess in there. Let's see if I can focus. So, down inside I've got my 72 megahertz receiver, my, my current sensor, and my speed controller. Obviously the motor's tucked up front, a couple of servos here, and a bunch of wires. Under the canopy, I've got my Horizon HD camera, and I've removed the LCD for a little bit of weight saving. I've got the voltage regulator for the camera here. I've got my Cyclops Easy OSD, and the GPS under there, and my reset button tucked right there. So everything is tucked in there. The wiring is a bit messy, but I get a 3000 milliamp hour battery tucked in here to power the plane. And then, and also my uh, OSD. And then I've got this right here that taps into a 500 milliamp battery that powers uh, just my camera. Um, yeah, just my camera. So there it is, in all its glory. I've been lucky so far. I've not had any difficulty landing this thing. I really haven't even needed my flaps very much. I was real concerned about landing this thing and the distance that it might need to land, but it's been pretty uh, well behaved. So no complaints there. My wing connections right here, that stick out of the top of the wing and I just plug them in for my flaps and my ailerons right here. So much better, I think, than the, just plugging them in the way they were designed. I just wasn't really comfortable with that design and they work really well there. There's not a lot uh, sticking out. There's no drag. Well, nowhere near the drag that this is going to cause up here or my camera. So all in all, we're pretty good. Uh, I'm looking forward to flying. I got some more reviews coming up that I need to do. I just haven't had uh, good wet flying weather to do it. I'll be out this weekend, hopefully with the Calaris, the DJI Flame Wheel 450 Quad, and my GWS Slow Stick, which I'm going to be using to test 
an OSD. So that's all we have right now. Um, I know I haven't done a video in a long time. I just haven't had a chance to get out and fly and make any videos. So stay tuned. Hopefully the weather's going to be getting better. It's warming up. It's getting nicer. I'll be spending a lot more time outside. Have a good one.